1966, Brian Wilson sat down to write the Beach Boys' next album. The result? A radical departure from their usual chart-topping formula. It was universally opposed by the group, but Brian put his foot down and insisted that it be released. Pet sounds. Well, it is widely believed to be one of the greatest albums ever written. Change can be frightening, but it's a wonderful thing. Don't worry. It'll all become clear in the end. In a career spanning more than three decades, Madonna has reinvented herself many times. She's reinvented herself more than any entertainer in the world. And by constantly adapting, she has managed to stay on top, while others about her have faded into obscurity. Times change. If you don't, you get left behind. In 1967, John Lennon was asked to come up with a song with a simple message. A message that could be understood by all nationalities. And he did. It was called, All You Need Is Love. And he was right. Love is all you need. In 1983, Anthony Kiedis, Hillel Slovak, Jack Irons and Michael Balzari... Well, they did a one-off gig at the Rhythm Lounge in L.A. Now, it was so successful, they agreed to do more. Now, two months later, they signed a contract as the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Now, none of this success would have happened without the first gig. Never be afraid to take the first step. <laughs> what have I done? You should never have taken it in the first place. Oh, are you sure. are. On the 8th of December 2003, Ozzy Osbourne had an accident on his quad bike. He broke eight ribs, his neck and his collarbone, and his lungs filled with blood. Ozzy stopped breathing for a minute and a half. He had no pulse. Effectively, he was dead. But thanks, luckily, to the prompt action of a security man and the medical aid of Wrexham Park Hospital, Ozzy was back on the stage in no time, rocking the world. What the hell does that mean? Everything can be fixed. How the hell? Don't question it. Just don't. Is that a new screen? It's amazing. It's fixed. In 1981, Altered Images released their first single. It was called Dead Pop Stars. Well, it never charted and caused a massive controversy. Why? Well, because John Lennon had just been murdered. In the music industry, as in life, timing is all. In 1968, the Yardbirds split, leaving guitarist Jimmy Page desperate to find some musicians for gigs in Scandinavia. Hastily, he cobbled together a new band. Bassist John Paul Jones, drummer John Bonham, and singer Robert Plant. Given more time, undoubtedly, he would have chosen different musicians. And Led Zeppelin would never have been born. Sometimes, more haste is better. In 1962, four young men auditioned for Decca record producer Mike Smith. After much deliberation, uh, uh, Mr. Smith rejected them, saying, We don't like their sound. And guitar music is on its way out. Well, those four young men were the Beatles. Yes. And they made millions for the rival company EMI. Recognising opportunity is a difficult thing, but when it knocks, you should open the door, unless you regret it first. <laughs> 
rest of your life. In 1980, devastated by the death of their frontman, Bon Scott, ACDC decided to disband. But then, they met Brian Johnson and went on to record Back in Black, <laughs> the second best-selling album of all time. In the darkest moments, it takes only a tiny spark to bring back the light. 